Page 140. Activity 2. Listening for blended consonants. Example. Harris saw a fat tiger at the zoo. 1. Yesterday, Yolanda had a really bad day. 2. June 9th is the date of Valerie's last test. 3. Let's save money to buy a car radio. 4. Ron needs a tall ladder to reach that high window. 5. Please bring me some hot tea. 6. Camille lives in a dangerous city. 7. Malik called his mother eight times. Page 141. Activity 3. Pronouncing Sentences. Example. The air was full of fall leaves. 1. We need to cancel our dinner reservations. 2. I live with three roommates. Three. Have a good day. Four. I don't know her phone number. Five. This song is so sad. Six. We're ready to take a walk. 7. Did he put his black coat away? 8. She bought an expensive vase. Page 141. Focus on testing. Using context clues. 1. Harold O'Connor, a professor of English at an American university, invites his students to his home at the end of the semester. He asks them to come at 4 p.m. for coffee and cake. At 3.45, the doorbell rings. He opens the door and is surprised to see several of his Korean students standing there. He feels embarrassed. Question 1. Why did the students arrive at 3.45? 2. The feet are the lowest part of the body. For that reason, many people from the Middle East believe it is rude to point your feet at someone or to show them the bottoms of your shoes. Some people also think it is impolite to step over someone, for example, at a theater or sports event. Question 2. Which of the following is probably a good idea if you are a visitor in a Middle Eastern home? 3. Americans smile mainly to show friendliness or happiness. In Japan, people smile when they are sad, happy, apologetic, angry, or confused. In traditional Korean culture, smiling meant that a person was foolish or thoughtless. On the island of Puerto Rico, a smile can have many positive meanings, including please, thank you, and you're welcome. Question 3. What can we conclude from these examples? 4. In the United States, you can sometimes see old shoes attached to a newly married couple's car. What is the origin of this custom? Some people believe that old shoes can help a couple to have many children. Some people even put old shoes in trees that don't give enough fruit. Question 4. What is this passage mainly about? 5. A bribe is an amount of money that someone offers a public official, such as a police officer, to get some kind of special favor or treatment. In some countries, bribes are a normal part of doing business. However, in the United States, bribery 
is illegal. Question 5. What could happen if you try to bribe a police officer in the United States? Page 145. Activity 2. Taking a trivia quiz. Hey, Joyce. What are you doing? I was just reading the paper. Oh, here's another one of those trivia quizzes that you love to take, Kevin. What's it about? The title is Global Connections. It's about transportation and communication around the world. Want to try it? Sure. Why don't you read it to me while I make a salad for dinner? Okay. First question. Which country has the largest number of time zones? The United States, Canada, Russia, or China? That's easy. Russia. Right. Okay, second question. Which country is the most popular tourist destination in the world? Is it France, the United States, Italy, or China? China. France. Right again. Go, Kevin. Okay, next. Oh, the third one's hard. This region has 12.5% of the world's population and 29% of the world's Internet users. Is it North America, Europe, Latin America, or the Middle East? Hmm. Let me think. Okay, I guess the Middle East. Wrong. It's Europe. Okay, keep going. All right, number four. Looks like another computer question. Which of the following countries has the largest actual number of Internet users? And the choices are China, the U.S., Russia, or Canada? Well, not Canada. Canada has a small population compared to its size. I'll say the United States. Right. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. I hope the next question is easier. Let's see. Number five. How many hours does it take to fly from New York to Cairo? Five hours, eight hours, 11 hours, or 15 hours? Wow. I have no idea. I think it's about six hours to London, so it's more than that. How about eight hours? Nope. Eleven. Okay. What's next? Which of the following countries has the largest number of daily newspapers? Mexico, Russia, England, or Greece? I'm sure it's England. Wrong. It's Mexico. No kidding. I wonder why. Okay, next. Number seven. The most frequently used language on the Internet is English. Which language is second? German, Spanish, Japanese, or Chinese? Wow, that's a tricky question. I am going to say Chinese. Yeah. Actually, I wasn't sure if it was Chinese or Japanese. Well, you got it right. Do you want to keep going? Yeah, one more. Then we can eat. Okay, question eight. Which city has the longest subway system? Moscow, New York, Tokyo, or London? London, for sure. You're right. Yeah, I studied in London last summer, and I took the underground everywhere. So what's my score? Five right and three wrong. Not too bad. Yeah, but not great either. All right, let's eat. I'm starving. 